a whole lot to cheer about tonight, Randy. Uh, yeah, you've had a lot to cheer about a lot with yeah. Gavin Winslet. I yeah, I think they cheer his name quite a bit. <laughs> All right, well, welcome back to the show. Tony Lewis and Jasper, the Wildcats, they've got some stuff to cheer about, too. They're thinking life in the SIAC, Randall. Pretty darn good so far. That's right. It's been all good for the Wildcats. Jasper is a perfect 4-0, and they really do look like a team that can contend for a conference championship with North and with Central. The Wildcats hosting Modern A tonight. It was a cat fight out at Alumni Stadium. Here early on, it's Blake Mann, though. He's been so steady for Jasper, but coughs it up right there, and Modern Day recovers. The white and gold wearing Wildcats turn that into points. It's Joey Pierre takes a handoff and he races in for the touchdown. Jasper though would have a 14 to seven lead. Now here's Blake Mann and kind of gets things going now. Mann finds Connor Foley. Big toss and catch right there. Nice catch for the big man. Move the chains first down near the 10 yard line. And then Mann just takes it in himself from there. Rushing touchdown, Jasper leads 21 to seven and Jasper stays perfect. They win. The final score on this one is 28 to 14. Another good game for them. All right, Mount Vernon at Forest Park. Quarterback Luke Kane will keep it on this first play right here and he would have a good night. He would keep it and take it in for the score. Six to nothing, an early lead for the Wildcats in this one, but then more of this guy, Caden Hamilton, on this very next play. Man, he, he had some wheels on him there, didn't he, Randall? Yeah, we'll see it here in just a second. We're just teasing you guys a little bit, making you wait for it, all right? Here we go, Caden Hamilton right here. Watch how pretty this is. Oh, the pick six. He says, I'll take that one. He would run that all the way back for the score, and the Wildcats will go up 13 to nothing. But then the pressure on the quarterback, and when that happens, a lot of things happen on defense. Mount Vernon's River Snodgrass says, give me this one right here. And he would recover the ball. Look at that big pick. And Mount Vernon would go on to win this one 29 to 20. So a nice bounce back from Mount Vernon after they lost to Owensboro Catholic last week. All right, back to the SIAC. Vincennes Lincoln on the road at Castle. And this one got off to a slow start, but it turned out pretty well if you're a Knights fan. This is Peyton Garzini. Look at the big guy, just takes the hand off and rumbles. Right up the middle, hard yards right there. That sets up a first down in the red zone. Then Cameron Tilly, the quarterback, rolls, looks, nothing there, tucks it and keeps it himself on the bootleg. That's another first down to move the chains. And then the Knights cash it in. It's Gerzini again, scoring from 12 yards up. That's the first one of the night for the Knights. They take a seven to nothing lead. Second quarter now, and it's Tilly again trying to make something happen, but the Alice's seem to get in there and the defense drops him, uh, but it was all Castle tonight. Good night for the Knights as they win this one. Your final score is 28 to seven. All right, let's keep the highlights rolling. Heritage Hills at North Posey, and a big thanks to our good friend Zane Claudfelter for all of these highlights. Now the Vikings would try to get on the board first here. Could they do it? Well, it looks like they did. So first quarter, Brady Reedford from one yard out. 7-0 early Vikings lead. Then second quarter, more Reedford this time from about three yards out. 14 to nothing. North Posey lead. But then Heritage Hills, here they come. They get on the board here. Luke Rickman tears off a 65-yard run. He takes that one all the way to the house for the score. And this one, Randall, would go into double Ooh. overtime tonight. The Vikings failed to convert a two-point conversion. So Heritage Hills, the Patriots win this one by the skin of their teeth. 35-34, oh to 34, the final again in double overtime.